Just as I thought the project going well, I discovered that both sides of the cup are seized, the non-drive side and the drive side. At this point, I'm too much into this project. I have repacked the bearing on the front wheel, the, the rear wheel, readjust the brakes on the front and the back, put in new brake pads, new cables front and back, and then I repacked headset too. Amount of work wise is 70% done. All I have is repack the bottom bracket, which is now seized and change the both shifter cables and just the front derailleur and the rear derailleur. So I think I'm just gonna try some other methods to try to get it unseized because I'm just too, too much into it. Uh, this is what I end up doing. So I have a stack of washers. Turns out the 5 8 inch are perfectly adequate just to go to the stack over the spindle. That way the wrench doesn't slip off as I put force on it. And then I use the regular crank nut to secure the whole thing on top of it. That way I can just put as much force as I can without worrying about the wrench being slipped off. Look at the both cages are broken. Yep. I think in the late, at least need new cup, maybe new, even new spindle. I'm gonna clean it up and see how it looks. This is the non-drive side bearings and the cup. You see the bearings are all pitted and they're definitely not usable. The cup actually doesn't look too terrible, it's just full of metal shavings. And then this is the spindle. I'm pretty certain the, this is pretty close to destroyed. If not, not much life left in there anyway. So basically if you found your bike really hard to pedal and then the bottom bracket is loose, just don't keep don't ride anymore. I, I, I wonder how long it takes for the previous owner to ride this bike till this state. In the process of taking them out, they destroyed the thread in the bottom bracket shell. Normally the frame will be trash. In this case, I bought a threadless repair bottom bracket. It's basically uh, two parts. And then this is, this is the drive side and this is non-drive side, so they don't engage in the thread of the bottom bracket shell, but rather the two sides just clamp this bottom bracket cartridge in there. And then I'm gonna be using this thread lock to help installing it. <laughs> 